As more people begin to take the delivery of their Model 3s and Model Ys, one thing that you may be considering is installing the automatic garage door opener. This uses a homelink technology to use your car as basically a giant garage door opening remote. If you take a look at Tesla's website, you can see a list of accessories, including the automatic garage door opener. It's a $300 upgrade, which is what you get right here. This is what $300 gets you, and I want to walk you through the process of getting Homelink installed in your Model 3 or Model Y. Back when the Model 3 first came out, Homelink was pre-installed in vehicles and also comes in every single Model S and Model X. They stopped doing that in the Model 3 for a couple of reasons. One was because of the licensing fees that were associated with the Homelink technology. This is not something that Tesla developed. This has been in cars for a long time. It was in my 1998 Chrysler that I had like five years ago. It was kind of interesting how old this technology is, but it is not Tesla's. They have to pay a licensing fee to a Homelink for every vehicle that they put this in. So it saves them a little bit of money and helps make the cost of the car cheaper by not including it in there. Although since they did release the car, the price has gone up like $2,000 in the last year. So that's beside the point. I got a Tesla and the thing I want is cool deck features, including an automatic garage door opener. You approach the house or you leave the house and it will automatically open and close for you. You don't need a remote. Your car is the remote. I thought that was really cool. So this is something I had to get. So Tesla recently changed the process of getting this installed right when the Model Y came out a couple weeks ago. The process was you ordered it online, Tesla contacted you when they got the part themselves, and they scheduled an appointment for you. Now, you buy the part, it comes to you, which is what I have right here, then you go to the Tesla app, make an appointment, and then it will get installed. So, go to on the website, buy the $300 accessory, this will come to you, and this is what you get. Inside of this bag, we get three things. We got a bolt, a mounting bracket, and the unit itself. So taking a look at the unit, it's actually fairly small and compact. There is one port on the side which will plug into the cable somewhere in the car. We'll figure that out in a little bit. And then the mounting bracket snaps onto the unit itself and it just bolts to the front of the car. It's a fairly straightforward installation process, but it is very intrusive to install. Today it is getting installed. What they're going to do is mobile service is going to come here and they're going to install this for me. You cannot install this yourself. You can't do it on your own. The reason why they do not do this in the service center is because they want the mobile technicians to set up your garage door for you. That's a really nice feature. I don't even know how to program a remote in my garage door. I installed it like five years ago and I don't know remember how to do that. So they're going to figure it out for me. So they will install it and they will set up the garage door for me. That's why they don't do it at the service center. They can if you absolutely have to, but they prefer to come to you. All right, so now it has been installed and I have to say it was a pretty straightforward process. He definitely knew what he was doing. This isn't the first one that's been done. So they knew how to proceed with this. It was fairly simple and straightforward with the install. It was a matter of taking out the front trunk which was held in with surprisingly few clips and screws. It was just a matter of stuffing his hand down the front bumper and connecting everything up right there. That was the easiest and quickest part. The thing that took the longest was that he had to install the software update, which took about 20 minutes. And then it was a matter of configuring stuff with the computer. And that was pretty much it. I would say it took a little over an hour to get everything done, closer to an hour and a half, but it wasn't too long. After that, we set everything up and it was pretty simple and straightforward. All you have to do is take your garage door remote, hold the button, point it at the front bumper. Then once the headlights flash, you go back to the car, you hit continue, and it's going to be sending out that same signal. What you need to do is go to your garage door opener, press the program button to add a new remote, and that is it. Super simple to get connected. And the best thing is that it works from a really awesome range. I had issues with my garage door opener at a decent range and didn't really work. Now the car works perfectly. The signal is very strong and you can do a couple of other really cool things. You can automatically fold in your mirrors whenever you trigger the garage door or whenever you get close to your home. And you can also set proximity actions to open and close the garage door whenever you arrive or leave. I have not tested that out yet. So if you want to see uh, more information about that, let me know and I can do that for you guys. But I have not tried that yet. But from what I have been able to do, it works really well. Whenever you arrive at home, it automatically pops up with the little button. So you don't have to go through the menus and, and access it. 
And then whenever you put it in reverse and you back out of the garage, it opens up for you as well. So it knows and automatically presents itself whenever you may want to use it. For $300, it's probably not worth it, but I have to say it's a pretty neat feature. I have not tested out the automatic open and close, but if that works fairly well, I think that would be definitely worth it. Installation wasn't too bad. It was just a matter of removing the front trunk, which wasn't too hard to do. And the thing that took the longest was basically waiting for the software to install. Other than that, it works really well. It's super reliable and it's pretty neat how they come to you. They set everything up. You don't have to worry about trying to figure it out. They know what they're doing and they can do it all for you. It's completely free. It's part of the $300 price that you paid for it. That price includes the hardware and also includes the installation. So $300 is all, and it's pretty straightforward of a process. So let me know if you guys are getting this for your Model 3 or why, what you think of it. If you want to see more information about the auto open and close, and if you have any questions. So let me know in the comment section if you like this video and it helped you out, feel free to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I'll see you in the next one.